Hey, Mark Nelson. Today what I want to do is go over the nine best lead magnets you could have in your business. Now, as I get into this, the lifeblood of your business is your email list. And how you get your email list is by giving something away for free or through your lead magnet. So at the end of this video, I'll share with you one of my best lead magnets and it'll probably be put in the description below. So let's get in on the training today. A lead magnet, right? If you talk, I got my little scribbler going on here today. If you talk about it's an irresistible bribe, offering a specific chunk of value, and value is key to it, in exchange for their contact information. Now, when I first got started, most people will really ask for a name and email. Many just ask for an email. Some ask for a phone, all depending on what your business is. But the goal of a lead magnet is the maximum number of targeted leads you are getting to an offer. And that's what this is all about, is putting an offer up into where you collect some information and you start leading them the direction you want to. See, the first thing that we're going to talk about, again, is we're going to look at nine different types of lead magnets let me get rid of that. And the absolutely wrong question most businesses are asking about generating leads. See, but first, here is the most important thing of a successful lead magnet. And that is specificity. Meaning, the perfect lead magnet will offer tremendous value within five minutes of the opt-in. Five minutes. So what that's talking about is you don't need to have a huge lead magnet. And I've done both. See, but lead magnets really don't have to be lengthy or complex or time intensive to create. In fact, a long and complex lead magnet will likely convert really poorly. And I have proof of that because that's mine I have too. I've given away like a 32-page ebook, and I thought it was just perfect. But guess what? Most people didn't want to read it. See, to have an impact, your lead magnet must be consumed by the product for it to have an impact. The perfect lead magnet will offer tremendous value within five minutes. Now, that's a rule of thumb. But what we do is we don't want a mini course delivered over 14 days or a 300 page ebook as a lead magnet. They're too long and very unspecific. You want to get right to the point in your lead magnet. So let's take a look at this one and notice how simple and specific this lead magnet is, right? It says grow enough food to feed four, a family of four in just four square feet, even if you don't have a yard. And all it's doing is asking for an email address. And now that is so specific. All our, if people are looking to have a uh, wanting to learn how to grow food for a family of four or whatever size family, that this is just really, hey, this is what this is all about. That's what it's going to tell them to do, is how they can grow enough food to feed a family of four in just four square feet. On the other hand, take a look at this one. And I did this once, meaning we all come in and start doing different things. It's get free updates for a 20-week e-course. Free updates, 20 weeks, shoot. I might have gone on something else, onto something else. Now, I do get trainings that go over a longer period of time. A training and an ebook are a whole different thing. This is what we want to do is get something short. Now, let me look at some of the lead magnet types with examples, and I want to show them to you that do it right. And then cover the very end, the eight points that must be included in every lead magnet. The first one, and this is probably my favorite too, is a guide and report. Right? They're the most common. The biggest thing is just don't get too long with it. See, here's an example of a free lead opt-in from HubSpot, the essential guide to internet marketing. See, now... People are going to get into that all the time. Now, this one does a little different. They ask the first name, last name, and email, but it's the guide. So if you're looking at trying to be an internet marketer, guess what? You're going to get in on this so you can take advantage and read it. 
Now, here's a free guide for leads that will be visiting North Carolina, or New Orleans, excuse me. Free New Orleans guidebook. Now, if you're visiting New Orleans, who isn't going to want something like that? The next one is the, a cheat sheet. Man, that is, to tell you the truth, I'm going to check that because that is what I go for, a cheat sheet. You know, this is a YouTube video. I've, you can't tell me how many YouTube cheat sheets that I've taken advantage of and wanted to. i got to plug in my computer here, otherwise it's going to go dead on us. How many cheat sheets I've taken advantage of that will tell me the cheat sheet that I have for great YouTube videos and how different ways to do them. The cheat sheet, though, is generally very short, one page or so, and cuts straight to a specific point. Here's an example of one. The ultimate SAAS metrics cheat sheet. So it's going to tell people that about these metrics. And here's another a cheat sheet for writing blogs that go viral. This is 52 headline hacks. So what that is, that's just going to be little sentences sharing different headlines. I have one that's 69 headline hacks. Unbelievable lead magnet. And another, a checklist for productive meetings, all which different business you're in. The third one that's very, can be a very impressive lead magnet is called a toolkit or a resource list. So here's one design thinking for educators. Now I'm a design, I'm not a designer, I'm an educator, I'm a math teacher. So I've hopped on lists that give me you know, different thought processes for di teaching different math subjects because I want to, as I go along teaching, I want to learn more and more what it is. The, this company is offering their time management toolkit in exchange for contact information. And then what they get with this, this is taken for a prospective lead. They give them an activity log or a tool. They give them a tool they can actually work with. Trello, if you haven't used Trello, it's a great uh, scheduler that you can get to, to kind of schedule your days out and they give them different templates and the index is a blog for a resource list and that is all the best blogs right all in one place that's a free download the fourth one is video training and you know to tell you the truth video training is getting more and more impressive I did like a four-day boot camp if you do this make sure that the videos are short. You, you don't want them to be real long. You want them to be a short three to five minute video so people every day that go on, okay, I'm going to listen to this today. It could be like setting up something. Like I, I have a share funnel that I give that's actually a, a lead magnet share funnel that I teach people how to set up. And all my videos are three to five minutes. So people get this lead funnel and if they want to sit that day and do it it'll take them two three hours to get it done otherwise they can spread it out over time and get it done in a couple days the software download free trial this is getting to be more and more especially with software companies this is bid sketch where they say create professional client proposals in minutes of free trial i work with uh, click funnels they have a 14-day free trial that you get in behind to see how their software actually works for you. That's very important. Now, discount free shipping. I've never done this. I use that ClickFunnels one. I use that to build my list all the time. MLSP is another one. They're, they don't have a free trial. It's a risk-free, but they charge you $10 up front for a, a trial. And that's important, too, because they want people to put money in the game, and then. but if you decide it's not for you, they refund you your money. The free shipping part. This is becoming really popular, but it's really, you see it with authors a lot. Uh, Russell Brunson was huge on this. He has written uh, three books. I think he's written now his fourth book as of this speaking. And what he does, it's free shipping. The book is free. It costs you $7.95 to get that book. But they're outstanding books. But what they're doing to get it, you have to fill out a form to put in your shipping address and you become part of their lead, um, their email list. And now this is one for Verizon, free overnight shipping. When you put in your information to get the shipping, that's where they collect your address. And these are different examples. 
what they do this this one was I went too fast Verizon was free shipping overnight framework offered a discount in exchange and then this one offered a discount and free shipping the seventh one this quiz and survey and I, now I do these in my um, I have a group on social media and I do them in my email list itself. I'll ask for a little survey, so I want to be able to help what they will do. But you can also put out a survey even in um, uh, Survey Monkey and grab an email from them too. That's uh, these are going to be more and more popular. This one is a quiz building tool. Like this is Interact. Uh, this is for a home improvement business. This is a quiz. What describes your home energy and People like to take quizzes. You know, I've taken personality quizzes, which were really pretty cool to see what kind of person I am. The next one is an assessment or a test. HubSpot has been generally lead through their marketing grader for years. So what they'll do is you put in your website address and an email address. So and I just did this with a spot. <clears throat> they wanted to check out how fast my website was, and I wanted to too, so I gave them my website. They wanted my email list. Now I'm on their list. And I'll stay there for a while if it you know, drives me nuts, I unsubscribe. This one is want to assess your child's behavior. My kids are 34, 32, so I don't have to do that anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. And the ninth one is sales material. In sales material, um, it's pricing the description of products and services. Excuse me, I had to get a drink of water. This is Ikea. They have their catalog coming up. If you want to get their catalog, you put in their uh, email address, and they'll get you that catalog to you. Now, these are the nine examples. But what really makes a successful lead magnet? So let's get into this. This is the eight-point ultra-specific. And I think I've mentioned that a couple times. And ultra-specific means just it, you can't be all over the place. You have to when people read your lead magnet, they want to see the important things. So if you have a title, three tips to be a successful affiliate marker, they want to know those tips. They don't need to read a book about it. They want to know the, the tips and maybe give them some hints where they can go from there. The one big thing, everybody wants a magic pillar silver bolt, so it's better to make and deliver one big promise. This is one. Grow enough food to feed a family for. And just four square feet. That's a big promise. Do you want to learn WordPress? That's a big promise. Speaks to a known desired end result. What does your market really want? My market wants leads. So if I can put a lead magnet in how to generate leads or where to generate leads from, guess what? That's important to my market. Immediate gratification don't use a, a multi-day course as a lead magnet or a newsletter. They want something here. Seven steps, nine uh, point checklist, how to get leads inside. That's all it is. But not a newsletter. They want to be able to pick it up. I like to read PDF files to get a PDF file and just read it and be done with it. And maybe hide it somewhere where I can look at it and kind of go back from there. The best lead magnets do more than inform. They change the state of mind and mindset of your prospects so they're pre-framed to engage in future business with you. So what they've done, they take your lead magnet and go, wow, that had some great value. So when you come back in your email system, and I don't offer a product right away, but I'll offer like two, three mail ins, and it might be a really low price offer like a $7 to $27 offer, they've gone, I just got a bunch of value on that lead magnet. I want to see what this product is because I know that it's overvalued. Okay, now this is key. You High perceived value. Just because it's free doesn't mean it should look free. Use professional graphics and imagery. So I give away eBooks a lot. And what I'll do is go to Fiverr. And Fiverr is a place where I can hire out people. And it's about $5 or $10 to make a mock ebook. I'll put the title in I want, a subtitle. I'll get the colors that are my brand specific. And guess what? 
People read those all the time. You know, they, they say, wow, that is a great ebook. I want it. That's all it is. So if your lead magnet is all sizzle, you got to give away value. Now, I like this all sizzle and no steak because I just had steak last night. You may get your prospect's content information, but you're going to lose their attention. And that's part of the, what this is, what I'm saying. Don't get too big. A uh, 32-page ebook, you're going to lose them. But if they can go down and say, three tips to be a successful affiliate marketer. Tip one, find this. Here's where you'd find it. Tip two, this is what you, tip three. And then if all those have great value, then your target market or your niche is going to come back. The last one is rapid consumption. You don't want them to be holding your back in your sales funnel. That's what it's all about. You're going to get a lead. And if I am going to draw this out, you're going to get a lead. I got to go down here. You're going to get a lead in an opt in form. Here's your lead. This is your little, let's see if I can spell. It's harder to write with this thing. They have uh, different ones of these. I'm just using my mouse pad. They get the opt-in, and guess what? Then what they do is they go on your email. And then after their email, you get them to a thank you page. And it's going to say here, download is on the way. You're not going to be able to read that. <laughs> that was funny. Sorry. Um, so initially what happens is they put in their information and it sends them to this page. And this one says, hey, your e your ebook or your checklist is on their way. Look for your email and check your spam. And it gets on their email list. So then they've done this. Guess what? After this one, typically the next day, they open up and there's another email. And what I try to like to do is give stories. So I'm going to tell a story about myself so they kind of get to know me. And I might have something in there that leads to a sales page. I usually wait, but this could be my $7 offer. And I go $27. So I'm going to change this to $27. And I've done $7 before. I try to go $27 and I don't know what. So they're giving you your opt information, goes to the thank you page. It'll end up going here. Gets on your list. So now you get, guess what? You got another email. So you tell a little bit more of yourself in a story. And story, we're going to get to that training. Your email is telling stories. They, if they don't purchase, it's going to go back to either a down sale or offer him something different. If they do purchase, it's going to be an upsell. And what I usually do is have an upsell right away that they can click. They say, yep, I want this. And they're going to go, hey, I have something else for $12. And if you've given them a great thing here, they are going to jump at this. And then this upsell might be $77. And then I keep building them up my value ladder, right? So I go free, then I go 27, upsell 12, 77, 197, 297. And as long as they get value right here, that has to be a value, over value. They're going to be more apt to buy and be customers of yours for life. Now, I have bought from people forever because of the value I've gotten in their lead magnet. So, and here's the big takeaway, and I want to be serious about this. Many of the items on this, this is the checklist, boil down to this underlying spe spe specificity manners. Be specific. Take a look at your lead magnet through the eyes of this checklist. Be more specific. Now, the next question is how do I get traffic to my lead magnet? And that's what we're going to be talking about soon on another video. Hey, if you got value from this, 
I'd just like you to tell me, reply to this email, reply to, give me a like down below, make a comment, share it. This is a YouTube video, so subscribe to my YouTube video. I also have down below here, I have my lead magnet. Three tips on how to become a successful affiliate marketer and see what mine looks like. So you all take care. Again, share this with people. Give me a like, make some comments, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get hold of my lead magnet right there. Well, it's actually down there. Thanks. You take care.